Data was collected from March 2016 to March 2017, so that was before all, all these things started popping up in the news. So where did United rank? United was before. fourth. Uh, American Airlines was third. So they're at the bottom. You've made the best point in all of this throughout, uh, because oftentimes it's really not the airline's fault, but they're responding to unruly passengers. Right. I, I, I blame boorish, belligerent passenger behavior for the, making the flying experience so miserable. And frankly, now everyone is jumping on the victim chic bandwagon, mm -hmm. and they've started filming, again, the <laughs> father who refuses to move the car seat out of the seat that, when, when nicely so asked by a up. flight attendant, what's his wife doing? Filming it. That's the he's first sitting there yelling. The he's phone. sitting there yell, the, yelling at the the flight attendant and the crew members. There's, all they're saying is he's like, I paid for it, and they they just want him to deal with it when the plane takes off. They're like, please sir, please move the car seat. His wife is busy filming it. So and the yeah, guy yesterday again, had been drinking all night, right? The, the other the situation was yes, it that, he, he had been drinking. He did admit that, but you know he says that didn't play. A part in it, but you know you, you don't can't, know. Can't, you can't. To, to, her, to that point with United, you can't cancel the flight. But how would you, I just want to know how would you react in your job if somebody shoved a phone in your face constantly? Yeah. Right. Having said and with that, videotaping they, you, I would they just did, stand they, there. They did deal with the United flight when they dragged the guy off the with plane. With Dr. Dow, oh, yeah. They settled it. They I know. I know. I'm just right, saying. But, but, that but you're was right. Horrible. The policies do need to be in effect because they sat him down. He needed to be somewhere. They should have raised the price of, of incentivizing people with the vouchers. They're like, we're going to just pick them at random. And so, I mean, that that's an issue too because it's not it's not his fault that they overbooked but, it. But, but right. we we focus on these instances where it, it's the someone's complaining about the. The, the flight attendant or the gate agent's behavior, but what's worse than that? Remember the fight that happened on that all Nippon Airways oh. flight from Tokyo that was heading to Los Angeles? Again, people get in fist fights because they, or there was a fight recently on the Southwest Airlines flight, yeah. but they when were it was punching each other, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, when it was pull, pulling in, it had just the flight had just landed. Yeah, and Spirit well, Airlines too. They had yeah, incidences. Spirit, that's yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, it's interesting though. This uh, data suggests like maybe there's kind of a silent majority. Of airline customers that actually thinks the service is pretty good. Uh, you need to go to an auction, and if you need the FAA to tweak some rules to allow just a pure auction, so you never have this bumping. But uh, but people have to understand that if you have no bumping from flights, you are going to pay more for tickets. Well, the, the, the load factor right now is running at about 85 percent. O overall, that hmm. means that you know the, 80, the planes are 85 percent full, but in theory they're really completely full. It's the highest it's been in 20 years, and quite frankly, the, these videos that people put out there it creates this mob mentality of people go to the airport expecting a fight. When you start expecting to be treated badly, expecting a fight, you you it's change your right. expectations. Wait, wait, but the, the, you're bringing up a good point because they're expecting a fight because the, the service has gotten so bad and they've got to I don't pay up. For everything, bad. they've got it. The On seats Spirit, are getting smaller. Well, she implies a I lot. Mean, she says she doesn't think Spirit it's Spirit Airlines, you have to know you're getting a discount because you're oh, yeah. accepting not good service. Yeah, I, I forgot and that. I think they're I pretty forgot, open about I that. I forgot right? that English style soccer melee that was at the Fort Lauderdale Airport yeah. when Spirit canceled those flights on mm -hmm. over the weekend the because of the, the, pilots the pilots dispute. Union. Terrible. I, exactly, but. Was that the airline's fault? But again, people are not taking responsibility for yeah. their own benefits. Well, we talk about it because we've all been there. We've all been in travel hell. Uh, at one point or another, and, and you just and what do we do? We stifle and deal with it, you just, just deal like with it. normal people, rather than fisticuffs and so on. Exactly, Tracy. Good stuff. Thank you so much, Tracy Carrasco. There we.